Hi, I had some questions on how the Sensil Morph can control the uh, bowing in the Swamp Violin virtual instrument. So here's the setup. I've got the Morph attached to my mini guitar now. It's a great thing here. And bowing occurs just like this, sliding your hand up and down on the Morph. Um, this way controls the distance of the bow from the the bridge, so towards the fingerboard is the same as on the violin, towards the fingerboard. And then that's back towards the bridge. And then this is the actual back and forth bow motion. And uh, the depth dimension, the pressure dimension here is applied actually to bow pressure. So as you press harder and slide the finger, you get a, a harder bow pressure. And it varies according to um, where you are here on the, on the sensor. So it's going to be kind of a split screen and you'll see the Cubase uh, MIDI edit window acquiring data as I record it. And this will just be kind of rough. Anyway, there's a stack of breath controller, which is mapped to the, uh, the bow. Controller 13, which is mapped to the bow's uh, position from fretboard to bridge. And then 12 is the pressure of the bow. And it's also showing pitch bend and modulation, which are being controlled from pedals in the MIDI expression interface. And here goes again. the two fingers if I jump between the two you can see the data on screen is jumping as well the distance in those jumps determines how hard uh, an attack there is Pitch bend is coming from the uh, one of the volume pedals. And then the modulation of vibrato is in the other pedal. Legato lines occur when you don't change bow position or direction. But if you want a bow change on each note, then you just move your finger back and forth quickly. left 
to right is the, uh, the bow versus the bridge position. So here it is closest to the fingerboard. down gets more pressure on the bow. So if you go really slow and press hard you get a scratch like with a real bow. to get the scratch at the bridge so Pretty much it.